Hi everyone, my name is Dylan, Team 4159's Head of Manufacturing. And I'm Anya, Team 4159's Vice President of Public Relations. Right now we're down at Team 254's workspace, Bellarmine College Preparatory, to test our new robot, Fezzik. Welcome to the next installment of our weekly update videos for the 2016 game, First Stronghold. Here are some of our updates. We spent most of this week troubleshooting our practice robot's problems and making tweaks to the original design for the competition version of the robot. Through our troubleshooting process, we found the following problems with the robot. It can't cross the defenses very efficiently, its pickup mechanism isn't always efficient, and the chain breaks very easily. For the defenses, we struggle particularly with crossing the moat, because the drivetrain's current design prevents it from doing so. To fix this issue, we plan on moving the Coulson wheel in the middle of the drivetrain down by half of an inch. We also plan on cutting off a portion of the robot side plate on the drivetrain to give the front pneumatic wheels more exposure to the defenses. For Fezzik Shooter, we realized that the ball won't align itself behind the flywheel mechanism well using the polycarbonate hooks that are on Fezzik now. We plan on switching out these hooks for a mechanism inspired by Team 118's robot from the 2014 FRC game, Aerial Assist. This mechanism would simply be a free-spinning tube of aluminum on a bearing. Other than that, the shooter will be left relatively the same. We've also made a lot of progress on Fezzik's lifter mechanism. A prototype of the new design has been built out of wood, and an aluminum version is currently being built. The new design will deploy in three stages, and will double as a mechanism to open the portcullis. The subsystem will be mounted onto the side of the drivetrain and will deploy a hook that will pull the robot up. Although we won't have access to a water jet machine to manufacture Fezzik's final parts this weekend, we still plan on meeting our bag and tag deadline because we will be manufacturing them all on our CNC machine instead. So that's it for this week's video. Before ending the video, I want to give a huge shout out to all our parents and sponsors. Without their support, we definitely could not be here. And a big thank you to Team 254, the Cheesy Poofs, for inviting us down to use their field. And a big thank you to the viewer for watching our video. Please subscribe to our channel to be notified when our new videos come out. Also, please follow us on social media, including Facebook and Instagram at Cardinal Botics, for more updates. Thank you, and we'll see you next time.